If you are an anesthesia professional, you probably have been asked, how will the anesthesia affect me long term? Or a family member has told you, my grandfather was never the same after his last surgery. Unfortunately, post-operative delirium is really common in older adults. The question is, what can we really do about it? The APSF has a patient safety priority advisory group dedicated to perioperative brain health, and the group has published updated evidence-based recommendations on what the anesthesia professional can do. This week, let's talk about some of the recommendations. First, intraoperative hypotension. There is research to suggest that sustained hypotension can trigger neuronal dysfunction and neuroinflammation, which may contribute to delirium. However, the general evidence about intraoperative hypotension and postoperative delirium is quite mixed, especially since there was significant variability in definitions of hypotension and patient populations. The APSF Perioperative Brain Health Patient Safety Advisory Priority Group recommends that maintaining optimal intraoperative blood pressure with proactive and individualized management strategies to minimize the occurrence, severity, and duration of hypotension is important in older adults to minimize the risk of postoperative delirium. Stay tuned for part two of this series where we will discuss preoperative benzodiazepine use. In the meantime, you can read the entire article in the October 2025 APSF newsletter at APSF.org.